Hi, so welcome back. So uh, this video tutorial will teach you about how to get one of the apps that we have created for the investigation of Newton's law of gravity. So type in, in the search field something like open source physics force simulator uh, which will bring you to one of the, the third app. So after you have downloaded it and you should be able to launch it and it will launch it in the first page as the simulation which is meant to be the virtual lab. Now you can navigate by moving around on the side if there is any content at the bottom and you could actually use either the, the menu bar here which then will invoke the table of content of which then you can see that the second is actually some text and pictures for you to further find out about the physics of this and the third is the reference page which then you can actually use it to launch to other simulations, YouTube videos, for example, that we have created, maybe even practice questions for you to further investigate and understand the phenomena that we are trying to invest uh, to find out more. So let's come back to the simulation again. So to click back, uh, you can actually come here and uh, look at the simulation. So one of the cool things about this computer model is it allows you to figure out and make meaning of the idea called the Newton's law of gravity. So it is basically a, a law that says that whenever physical body that have masses, they will be attracted to each other. And this force is present when the bodies are, are present and they do not need to be in contact with each other, which is different from the other contact forces that you may be familiar with. Now, so... Uh, one of the ideas is that you can see that uh, you can drag it and you, you can see that uh, the forces are always equal. So this number here is uh, 79359 and, and that number is also the same. So the forces are always equal. They are also accelerating towards each other. So how do we know that it's accelerating to each other? We can actually click play. So this is the physical, the physics effect of uh, having masses near each other. So they'll nat naturally gravitate or pull each other. The third idea is that the forces always act on different bodies. So you can see that uh, the red mass will be attracted to the green while the green will be attracted to the red. And that will determine the direction of the force. So let's say, for example, uh, there's this particular idea that the mutual force of attraction between these two point masses are directly proportional to the product of their masses. So what does it mean? So one way to quickly figure this out is you can actually change the mass one. So from 100, uh, observe that the force is this number, 4.17 to the power of minus 8. And we were to reduce it by half, you can see that the, the force should now be uh, correspondingly lower, which is also half. So let's say that we, so now it's 2.086. So let's reduce it further. Uh, so let's increase it. So you can see that this is uh, double again. So it seems to be proportionately uh, varying. Now, how do you change the M2? You can actually correspondingly change M2 as well. So if you change M2 to 50, which you halve it, then the forces will also correspondingly be half. So if you were to double it, so it goes back to double. So this is what we mean by being directly proportional to the product of the masses, which is M1 and M2. Now, what do we mean when we say... Uh, inversely proportional to the square of the separation of the two cent of the center of the mass so what this means is if this is um, let's say we, we put it side by side uh, the separation is in this case one meter apart which you can see from r equal to one notice that the forces are also equal is 3.37 to the power of minus seven so if i were to move this mass to let's say two meters apart which is now double of the earlier, so 2 and then you square it, so the, the magnitude of force would have been uh, half and half, so it's one quarter, one quarter of the original amount. Let's, let's take a look again. So this is, uh, okay, I'm dealing with numbers that are not, okay, so let's reset this. So let's say you put it up to, so it's 6.67, 
and this should be a quarter of 6.67 which is 1.67 and correspondingly if you were to be able to be do you be if you're able to do this within your calculator, this will be one ninth of the original value of uh, as if they were one meter apart. So this is one ninth, and then this will be one over sixteen. 